you can tell by that sound, it's time for you know what. So welcome back to another installment of the Color Not Live Bling! Ding! So I'm on my own presenting today. I'm not alone in the kitchen and also not alone in the studio because it's also you. We want to hear from you. So if you have any questions this morning about curry, everything curry, the best curry, who makes the best curry in your home, what's your trick to making a good curry? We want to know. Send us your voice notes on 063-408-8863. I have to remember that number myself, but I've saved it now. Speed dial my phone. <laughs> we want to hear from you. Like I said, I'm not alone in the kitchen. I've got a friend with me in the kitchen who knows everything curry. I'm putting it out there now. It's, it's oh out my there. gosh. Sadia Thanks, Hendricks Kim. is in the kitchen. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you. I also think it's very daring of them to let the two of you and I loose in the kitchen. I know, I know. Let's try and focus. Let's now. just Let's focus see. and like yeah. get this curry going. So <laughs> I like what I'm seeing in front of me. It's very colorful. I'm smelling things that just smell delicious. What are we making? We are making, so we call it dal. Mm -hmm. Do you know it is dal? I do. Lentil know. curry? I know this dal, like straight up. Oh, okay. Also, can I just say, if someone says I'm having dal curry, yes. and if someone says I'm having lentil curry, my mind always goes, the dal curry is going to taste better. Same thing, yeah. different name, but it's going to taste better. Same, same. I feel like if I'm making it and I say I'm making lentil curry, it might come out uh, yeah. two notches down. Family could look at you like, who are you? Who? Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, where do we start? We start with, we already have our oil in our pot. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to start braising some onions. So I'm going to throw that in here. Let me use my spatula. So I found this amazing hack about onions, especially if it comes like... Tell me, I'm all for hacks. Chop your onions way ahead of time yeah. and then freeze them in a bag. So whenever you need <gasps> yes. them... So if you have guests that come over, and it's not maybe your favorite guest, your oh, shade, Ask them to help you chop onions. <laughs> Let them do all the prep and you just like store away like kilograms of chopped onions. I'm going to tell you something else. So this you might see in lots of your Indian or Muslim friends' uh -huh. homes. Okay, I'm throwing in some curry leaves and a slit green chili. Green chili is a vibe, right? Oh, my and people goodness. say there's no difference between green and red. There's a no, difference. No, there's a difference. The flavor is amazing. I'm biasly all for the green chili. chili. So the other hack is mm. they have ready fried onions. Crispy ones. Yes. And that just makes this whole process quicker. So they literally buy it in bulk. Uh, Indian you make crouton. honey like... Indian croutons are officially <laughs> just crispy onions. But crispy I do onions. like that. I do like That's that That's an idea. amazing hack. Texture, flavor, it's all in Saving there. you loads of time. Loads of time. So, everything's looking really amazing. Let's Am I see. pumping this up? You know what? Am I? You, we spoke so much, we forgot to put the stove on. And That's normal. On. That's normal. Yeah, okay, yeah. then we've got some extra heat. So, okay. onions are going, onions are in there, curry leaves and green chili. You and I spoke about curry leaves a little earlier. Yes. Amazing. And the fact that you cannot get it everywhere in South Africa. I know. I know. Only Durban. I know you have to like smuggle in your curry leaves, but now it's readily available. It's legal. <laughs> it's legal. I also like that you can freeze your curry leaves. <gasps> Small. Wait, I'm going to like. Okay. Let's waft it in. Hey? That alone already tells me that it's going to be a really amazing it's curry. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. So your lentils, do you soak them? Your dal? Um, soak them or you can boil them in mm -hmm. a separate pot. For this amount, I mean, we're making... Curry, you can't make in a small batch, though. I don't think I've ever seen a recipe for curry. This is us enough. being, like, deserved yeah. here. It's usually, like, a huge part the big one. I mean, if you look on the screen, it says serves 8 to 10. And I like that because I've never seen a recipe that says makes curry for four. That's not a curry. No. That's just also a spicy you, smoochie. You know, <laughs> your neighbors are going to smell this and be like, why? Exactly. Why, why no invite? So, yes, we're getting this going. We're going to braise our onions. We don't want to burn it, so we're giving it a good braise. And then we, I think also with dal, it depends on your texture you prefer. Mm. Some like it smooth. Yes. Some like it with a bit of texture. So Where are you on that scale? I'm in between. I could go yeah. more smooth, smoother. I still want to know that there's dal in there. Yes. That's what I want. Can't be like baby food. You know? No. No. Lucky baby. But we got a voice <laughs> note. We got a voice note. Let's, let's take a listen. Good morning. Feel good. Espresso show. Mrs. Nirmala Devi Mudliya from Kumas. To Clem, I was always asked if I was a vegetarian, and I don't know what gave them that idea. But how do I give up on mutton curry with melting soft cooking potatoes, absorbing the gravy with an extra addition to its flavor? Thank you. Have a blessed day. Did you hear what she asked? No. I okay, wait. Let me, let me get a, something about mutton curry and garlic. How can, she, how can she give it up when it tastes so good? 
The thing, <laughs> how, how can you give up curry if it tastes so good? The very simple answer is don't give it up. Don't ever give it up. Why, why, why would, would you give you up like curry? To? So here's the thing. If you are maybe trying to have a little bit of a lighter diet every time you're having curry, there's so, ama so many amazing vegetarian curries out there now that I absolutely love. My favorite being paneer curry. But I also do like when lentils get introduced into a curry. It still gives you that meatiness and the substance. Yes. Without having like all that heavy meat in there. I feel like it, you don't miss it. Totally, and you can, I mean, I use olive oil in my curries. That's me being healthier. <laughs> the olive oil is the healthy, healthy The option. healthier option than like loads of butter and... And ghee. Yes. I agree, I agree. Yes. So I like the idea of using the, the healthier yes. oil. Yes. And then it try the lentils, me. try the dal. I think it'd be amazing. We do have another voice, so hopefully I'm going to pick this one up. Good morning, Expresso family. This is Natalie Daniels from Fit Moms. Yes, I love me some good curry. And one of the tips and tricks I just found out lately is adding not just coriander to your curry, but mint. Yes, I said it. It's a vibe. Mint in your curry. You do not have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> With a little bit of a hip hop. I was, I was, when yeah. she said not only coriander, but also I was saying, like, literally about a clap, please say mint. Mm. It just kind of opens up the dish and adds another flavor dimension. Yes. And it sounds simple, but it makes a difference. So I'm going to tell you also where we bring in the mint. So you know the uh, along the side of your curry, what do they bring in as like a little side yes. to it? So in the Indian community, they'd call it kachumai, and my husband's going to be laughing at me. Oh, it's onion slaichi. Onion slaichi? Yes, and that has mint That's in it. That's got mint in it. OK, so, so as made... expected, we spoke so much, <laughs> but we're not done. We are coming back for part two. Don't forget to send us your voice notes at 063-408-8863. We're going to keep on cooking. When we come back, and show you how far we got, and then we're going to give you another curry recipe. Oh, yeah. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Welcome back. It is officially time for the second installment of the Culinary Hotline Bling! Ching! 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 So now I'm going to kind of get you a little bit of trouble now because officially I'm going to tell the people we're making the best, the best curry in the world. Absolutely. Okay. Well, it's my favorite. Is it your favorite? So when did you first have this dish? Oh, and who made Kim, it? Kim, it was a starry night. <laughs> Jokes. My mother, my mother's like the best prawn curry maker ever. Yeah. Biasly, I'll okay. say so. So I knew that. So I phoned your mom. Yeah. I phoned your mom. You did. And I was like, you got to be in the kitchen with us. Please say hello to Sadie's mom, South Africa. Woohoo! Please come inside. <laughs> Woo! Hey, mom. If, if you want to <laughs> do something right, call mom. Yes. Call mom. Absolutely. So you're in the kitchen with us. And I'm so excited because, first of all, I'm seeing a prawn curry with the shells on. <laughs> not with the shells on. Yeah, we can't shrimp this up, eh? No, no. no that's no actually with the prawn with the shell on. It's with the sucking of that, you know, that juices. It lands it's in like that dinner shell. theater. It's yeah. like dinner, the sounds of people like sucking the prawns and their hands getting into it. Ah, oh, ah, oh, it's so good. <laughs> and that's the one time, forget about the knife and fork. Just get your hands in there. Okay, yes, so we started ready with the onions yeah, on the pot. What's it's... next? Braising in some butter and then curry leaves. Mama. Curry leaves and um, can I go for it? While yeah. you are busy adding to the pot, we're going to come back and do a recap. But we've got some voice notes. Gideon, we've got a voice note from you. Good morning, family. Um, my name's Gideon. I'm from Cape Town. Quick one. How do I get my mutton soft in a short period of time? Every time I cook it, no matter how long I cook it, it stays tough. I got the answer. I've got the answer. So normally, when you make mutton, um, as soon as you add a lot of intense heat, like any meat, it kind of seizes up, and then you have to slowly cook it to relax the meat again. So mutton likes low and slow cooking. So if you're in a rush, I suggest you get a pressure cooker. And pressure cookers are amazing when it comes to curry. Also, if you're making a dal curry in a pressure cooker, 20 minutes. Yes. Pressure cookers are an amazing investment, yes. and you're going to hand them down to your great, 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 great grandkids. It makes your life so simple. 
Get a pressure cooker. Also, another, another trick to get extra flavor and extra tenderness, season your mutton way before the time. It'll help break down some of those muscle fibers. We've got another voice note. Tina. Good morning, Chef Klim. Um, I would like to know what is the best spices to use for curry? Oh. Tagging you in, I'm tagging you in. Go. Oh my gosh, so over here, the thing is when the recipe calls for garlic and ginger in a curry, take the one with the chili. You need to go and find the right spice shop, but this is the goodness. So curry Smell paste, it. would you? So it's not, That's this is amazing. garlic and ginger, mm -hmm. but when Ever an Indian recipe says garlic and ginger, it's with red chili. With red chili, it. I yes, like that too. With the heat and the flavor and all of that yumminess. Mm. How do you feel, seeing as we've got a question from Tina, how do you feel about pre, oh, this one's for your mom. Pre-made garam masalas, are they okay? Are they good? Helping Tina out now. How do you feel about pre-made garam masalas? Um, yes, if you don't have on hand, then that's good, but Having it made fresh is even better. But today, it's so convenient. Who's got time? Who's got time to make spice mix? <laughs> if you are making no. your own spice mix at home, proud of you. So I also think just find a garam masala that you kind of like, and from there, you can kind of add things. So if you like a garam masala and you're like, okay, oh, cool, it's not that hot enough, add some extra chili spice to it, you can do that. Start off with a garam masala and find out <laughs> what your flavors are. Sorry, I got distracted there because the smells, Ah, oh, amazing. How far are we with that recipe? What have we done? Well, I've added the green masala, the green paste. Mm. And so then green I've added... masala is, if you don't have it, it's ground green chilies, you know. Ground okay. green chilies with, with a bit chili? of garlic. Ooh, there's something else in there as well. It's green chili, garlic. garlic. And a little lemon. And love. Wow, this love. is amazing. And then... And then I've got the fish masala. It's also about a good fish masala, hey? So you get the, the dry mm -hmm. fish masala and then there's also the wet paste. And I feel like there's so much more flavour you get from yes. the paste. Spices are great, but mm -hmm. paste give you that instant satisfaction, the instant curry flavour, and I like that. So I've never seen a, a wet fish masala. Never. Clem, we're going to go spice shopping we together. Go. <laughs> we're going to go shopping. <laughs> we're going to go in the deep of Lansdowne and we're going to get... And Lansdowne is where I go for my spice mixes, so... so yeah. yes. yes. So, because it's prawns, it doesn't have to cook that long. So, the sauce, could I make the sauce ahead of time and then when the guests are coming in, this I it? think that's the best thing. Okay. Because yes. then everything falls through and... It, they always say it's better the next day. So true. So, so true. Yeah. No, if legit. You do it in advance. Not that there will be any leftovers mm. for storing for the next day. <laughs> I feel like seafood curry is a curry that always goes first when you go to a wedding or to an event. The seafood curry is gone yes. first. So, again, we're saying we're keeping the shells on for two reasons flavor, and we like that, 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 like. Yes, we don't want it to shrink up, and we want to get all up in the shell and just. That's the fun of it, That's right? the fun. The Is that why we kept the prawn heads? Or do you not add it? Actually, add it? I think it's up to you. Okay. It's up yeah, to you if you prefer preference. it. Some people love to. I keep the prawn heads because I end up making a seafood stock out of it. And I do, yes. actually. Like, that's yes. the one stock that I really yes. like making fresh with the prawn yes. heads, so I never throw them away. So, true fact, most of the prawn flavor comes from the head. Yeah. So when it comes to making stocks and sauces, yes. also for curries. And Tom Yum. <gasps> Tom, yum, absolutely, so and that one you got to have an intense prawny yeah. flavor. That when is looking good, worm. smelling great. Smelling good. Mommy, you just tell me when to pass the prawns. And let this just cook. Okay, it's something. When it's mom amazing. tells you, mom tells you, wait, <laughs> wait, wait. So what do we, when you say we are, we are looking for it to be ready, what are we looking for when we know it's time to add the prawns? Just let the tomato cook in a bit, and then um, you can add, because now all the, Spices are all well blended in here, so yeah, then it just the prawns just soaks it up. I yeah. love that. And if you want to get this recipe, check it out at expressoshow.co.za. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Dot com. We're international, expressoshow.com. <laughs> get the recipe. You're going to want to make this, especially with the festive season. I can't wait to try this, but we're not done. There's still a part three coming up for the current hotline. Bling! <laughs> ting, ting, ting! <laughs> It's my feel good birthday show. 
Welcome back to the final installment of the Coloring Hotline Bling! Tim, Tim, Tim! And if you don't know, we've been doing everything curry since about six o'clock this morning. We're finally on our last curry, and it is looking at one of my favorites. What did you just put into the pot, Sadie? I just popped some, some lamb. So we're gonna brown our meat, and that, as you know, Chef Klim is just the way to get all those flavors out, eh? Can I just say, you've got knuckles in the pot, and I do like when you serve lamb or mutton, mm. and it's on the bone. Yes, but, yes. Mm. I think the whole thing with curry is just to get all up in there. Right? So if you have a bone that you can just, you know, a casual conversation oh. and a... I think I once, had, I once had Cat in the kitchen and he gave me the perfect sound effect of what it sounds like. We might bring him in later. But there's a sound it's that enough. comes with like when you suck the prawns, when you like get into the marrow of yes, the bone. Yes. And you get so much more flavor as well, just in general. So knuckles have gone in. Um, okay, so obviously this recipe you can swap it out for beef or mutton. You can also just keep it totally vegetarian right. if you want to. Because um, it's a... Uh, Beans. So you use either sugar beans, butter beans, kidney beans, your maybe beans. not baked beans, <laughs> maybe not. Actually, if you're doing this like in kind of a hurry and you're kind of doing a, like a midweek version, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna hate the fact you put um, like baked beans in. No, I'm not gonna hate it. Also, no. there's a little sweetness in the tomato sauce, which is nice for a curry. I like that. So in this one. Because if you're not using the tin that's in the tomato sauce that has the uh -huh. sweetness to it, we add a bit of brown sugar to take that tang out, and it's just amazing. It balances it. Yes, in. it's not, you know, the tang of the tomato. We zap it out, balance the heat. And uh, curries are all about the balance. It's your balance yes. of your spice, it's the balance of your aromatics, the balance of, like, that sweetness as well, and the base. And I feel like once you nail the balance between all of that, that's when you take your curry to, like, next level. Absolutely. And it only happens to practice. That's true. But it's, I don't know, in my house, curry is like a staple. Like once a week, I have my daughter saying, Mommy, curry and do tea. It's, you know, it's just, and it's a quick one. It's quick. Especially if you're going to pop it in like a pressure cooker or something. The pressure Sorted. cooker. The pressure. And I also do like Soft the fact meat. that your kids are like coming for curry. Yes. No, no fussy kids. No. And also like, I, I'll be honest with you, my sister's now 16 when she was like a tiny touch. She would also want curry with like the heat. Oh, yes. It has my to be My oldest daughter. There. Yes, my parents' daughter, well, they started feeding a chilies at a very young age. As we do, <laughs> as we do. Okay, spices going spices, in. Spices, we're gonna get that aromatics going. So while you're adding the spices, I'm gonna show everyone our dal curry looks absolutely amazing. And we kept the texture. I love, love that. Yes. And then our prawn curry. We've had to fight people <laughs> been coming up to the table trying to grab a prawn out of this. I see people walking off like just one prawn in hand, eh? I saw that too. <laughs> it was supposed to be a bigger bowl. We won't, we won't say names of the people who have taken it. I won't say, Courtney, why did you take the prawn? <laughs> I won't say, Courtney, I saw you. I, I won't say that because I would well, never I call someone you. out on TV. Mm. Did you hear that as well? So the curry is absolutely amazing. Like your mom said earlier, it's a great dish to make ahead of time. Which yes. I think is great for the first so season. Soak in. I also like that curry is just the way you want it. You yes. know? Adjust the heat, whatever you want to sort of like balance it out with, it's totally according to your preference. I love that. Yes. So we're gonna wrap up very quickly. So we've added our seasoning in there. Added over there. So basically, next is gonna be our garlic, our green paste. I see you've added that already. Tomatoes okay. go in. Mm -hmm. That's why we add the sugar, because the tomatoes are in there. Absolutely. Beans, when do they go in? So I'm going to cook this until the meat is tender and mm -hmm. then I'm going to throw the beans in. So it's like 10 minutes before you serve it, add the beans, let it simmer in and ready to go. It's and the same really goes nice for potatoes, right? You want your meat to be soft, mm. close to being What's soft. What's your hack with the potato thing? I just pop it in the microwave for a little That's bit. That's amazing and I love that. So what I also yes. do is um, I take a big bowl, oh this is perfect. I don't cut my potatoes into small, small pieces because I like the chunks of potatoes, yes. which does mean it takes longer to cook. Mm -hmm. So I pour boiling water over and just pop a lid on it, and it slowly does give you a yes. bit of cooking. Yes. Then add it to the sauce, and you want that potato to also like really suck up the sauce. I know, it's and important. the nice chunks is it's amazing because it's cooking through and it's not turning to mush. You know, and it becomes <laughs> a dish on its own. Yes. Absolutely. So we actually do a dish at home that's just potatoes and curry. My wife calls it red potatoes because it's got a red oh, chili yes. sauce. That and it's just a bit of sucking up all curry. that sauce. 
Oh. Oh. Just like, as you were saying earlier, with Ruti, just like, in Ruti. there. In yes. There. yes. And I love the fact we're coming back to, like, people aren't embarrassed to, like, eat with their hands in public. Yeah. I feel like it's the best way, it's the best way to yes. enjoy food. And, like, did you, you see? I came prepared. The sleeves are already rolled up. You leave up. with half the dish. <laughs> if you want to get this recipe and the two other amazing recipes, and believe me, you do want to get it, check it out on expressoshow.com. These are some amazing curry recipes. Sadie, thank you so much. Thank you, Chef. You brought your mom. Thank you. So thank you to Sadie's mom. That's my hotline. Mama, how do we do this? Is it our <laughs> mom's permanent hotline? We're going to see you next week for another episode of the Hakali Hotline Bling. And I think we're going a bit festive. It's going to be a festive hotline bling. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good.